Turn to page 34 in your textbooks, please. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Vivi. What's up, man? Sorry. Oh, um, Miss Elledge? It's Dr. Elledge. Uh, I'm sorry. Dr. Elledge, um, hi, my name's Pat. Hello, Pat. Um, I missed your class last Thursday. Um, did I miss anything? Like maybe a quiz or something? We had a lecture and we had a quiz. Oh, uh, well, did I miss anything? No, no. Lecturing for three hours? You didn't miss a thing. Oh, great. So, like, I don't have to go get the notes or anything from anybody, right? That would be up to you. Okay, and like the quiz, can I make it up next week sometime, maybe? Whatever is convenient for you. Oh, great. Okay. Why oh. don't you just sit down? Okay. Excuse me. As I was saying, page 34. Dr. Stevens, I don't understand why I got a C on this paper. I worked all night. Bill, I've graded 60 papers in two days. Please read the comments. But it's just not fair. I read Keisha's paper, and hers wasn't half as good as mine. I really need to pass this class. I'm flunking chemistry. Bill, your chemistry grade has nothing to do with this paper. If you'll make an appointment, we can talk about it together. Can you do that? I gave you a C on this paper, if I recall, <clears throat> and I was being generous with that. See yes, Eric, I did. Come on in. Have a seat. I want to talk to you about your grades a little bit. I'm uh, a little concerned. Uh, we've had two classes, or we've had two quizzes and a test in your class, and you have an average of 54. Um, that's actually the lowest grade in the class. What's, what's the problem? What's going on? I'm just having trouble finishing the test, but I, but I know the material. Yeah, you do have trouble finishing the test. Eric, you're the last one you know, to leave, you know, after every test. Um, no one else seems to have that problem. Well, I have a learning disability. You have a le learning disability? What kind of learning disability do you have? Well, it just takes me longer to read and understand the questions and then write down the answer. So what, would you, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to give you more time? Do you want me to treat you differently than the other students? Well, that actually helps. trouble with my grades. I um, went to Virginia Beach over spring break no, and I just second. came no, no, let's see. You're, you must be in my large class and what is your name? Jana All right, Nordstrand. What's going on? Not Nordstrom like the store Nordstrand. All right. Mm. I so, see here it's not going very well. Well I work 30 hours a week and um, I have a really big credit card bill well, because... Let's, let's hold off of here a minute. Let's find out a little bit about what's been going on in terms of my class. Okay. Now, what I see here is you have not turned in a lot of your homework assignments. It's, and you're, I've asked you to actually come see me twice already. 
Right. And this is a bit late. Right. You know? But like uh, I said, I work 30 hours a week, and every to... night we have TV nights. Just depends on the show. America's well, we have model. A mess. We have There's a mess of our priorities now. here. Now, uh, let's begin to get constructive here. Uh, do you have your test with you? All right. Well, let's let's make an appointment for you to bring your test around, so we can begin to see what's necessary to fix this. Okay. Now it's going to take a big effort on your part to fix this, okay. and you have to be willing to. You know, there has to be some effort on your part. You're going to have to give up your life. You've got three weeks. Give up my life. And you tell me you're working thirty hours a week. Mm -hmm. I have a really big credit card bill because now I like to wear really trendy I've, clothes, uh, and well, I, I just. You won't have any clothes to wear if you keep this up. Uh, you will go bankrupt. You'll be thrown out of college. From one class? Uh, probably. I suspect if I were to look up your record at what I've heard, we're looking at a full set of issues, not just one. I mean, so I just figured I could do some effort. extra credit, you know? I mean, it's just that well, I don't know. Well, as you know, in this class, as I said all along, what counts at the test, period. Wow. And the performance level has not been adequate to date. But I have an incentive system which allows you to improve immense. If you improve at the end, you get rewarded for it. Okay. So now let's get a little fanny and gear, okay. and let's make a plan on how to carry this out. And the first thing you need to do is to discuss with your boss to take off time in the next three weeks. That's all we got left of the term. And the next thing we need to do is to have you bring in your test. And so far as, uh, could you meet me? Anytime but four, because Oprah's on at four. All right. Three o'clock tomorrow? Three o'clock tomorrow. Sounds terrific. Okay. Well, I want you to bring your test. Okay. And I want you to dig up as many handouts as you can possibly find. Okay. Then I want you to think about how you're going to discuss things with your boss to take time off for this next period of time. Okay. And take your TV and throw in the trash. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. about the project that's due on Friday, mm -hmm. I need to ask for an extension. You need an extension? You had two weeks to complete this assignment. I know, but I was into the project and I found out that the resources were a little more complicated than I thought. Okay. And once I got my resources, I was already a week into the project and so, I mean, I don't have the time. I just need the extension until Monday. Okay, why did you contact me earlier? I could have helped you then. Okay, I did. Mm -hmm. I came by your office, you either always with somebody or you were not there. You were just too busy. So I did my part. Yes, I am busy. Um, I teach five classes. I'm doing research. I'm actually writing textbooks. I supervise graduate assistants. And on top of that, I'm married with children. So I'm very busy. OK, so you see, you should give me the extension until Monday. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You had every opportunity to either call me, um, email me, or even possibly meet with me. I always make time for my students. So the extension is out? This is stitching it out. That's it. That's it. Oh, well. Okay. Will sure. you be available during your office hours? I will be. I will okay. be. Yeah. Can I be there at eleven fifteen? Eleven fifteen will be perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you then. All right. Bye. Doctor E. Are you oh, still, sure. Are you still available? Sure. Come on in, Tiffany. Have a seat. Thank you. What can I do for you? Well, this might be a dumb question, but on the exam, aren't you supposed to do the parentheses first when working this problem? That's right. Well, I did that, but the answer I had was marked incorrect. Hmm. Let me look at that. You know, you're right. I did make a mistake. Let me look over your exam one more time, and then I'll change your grade. Okay. Okay? All right. And uh, also, 
Um, I still don't understand this one, the answer for this question. Okay, let me show you how I did that. Okay. 